when I talk about oil, what comes into your mind? The gasoline you put in your car? Pollution? Or the Edmonton Oilers? <laughs> the oil and gas industry is the largest industry in Alberta, accounting for 17% of GDP. While enjoying the benefits brought by oil industry, we are also mindful of pollution, climate change, and the need for sustainable development. My research focuses on one of the ways we can improve the efficiency and sustainability in oil and gas industry. As for things, our useless component in crude oil, which directly or indirectly cause lots of problems, increasing the cost of oil production. As for things can deposit on the wall and clog a pipeline, which may lead to a pipeline break or leak. It can also make the water oil mixture very stable to form a black sticky goo, which is dangerous to wildlife. Why can't we get rid of the asphaltings? The difficulty is the asphaltings don't have a specific formula or constant composition. Rather, they are complex mixtures and the theory of asphalting structure is still controversial. Because of asphalting's complex character, we do not clearly understand the interactions between asphaltings and other components in oil production. My thesis is targeting at determining the interactions by using a modern fancy microscope, which has a tip and a platform we immobilize, for example, a water drop at the tip, another one to the platform. In the asphalting dissolved oil solution, get the two drops closer. The force between them will be measured, giving us an idea of the interactions. Once we understand the interactions, it will be easier for us to modify it. For example, we may find a chemical to remove asphaltings from the black sticky goo so that water oil can be easily separated, giving us clean water and clean oil. If you are not in the oil industry, you may not see the relevance of my work to your life. But oil industry is important to energy, to economy. I'm making it sustainable by making it more environmentally friendly and cost effective. Thank you. Thank you.